Hello, everyone. My name is Konstantin Tkachuk, and I'm more than happy to welcome you from our side and from Titan Network. So for us today, it's a great, great opportunity to show the appreciation to the Filecoin ecosystem and all what we have built together so far is a great highlight of collaboration between Filecoin and uh, Titan Network. So the talk today that I will be presenting you will be focused on idle edge in the pin industry. There is a new wave of digital resource networks that comes to the DPN space, and we believe that going to adoption of 1 billion users to DPN will be based on using the digital resources from Idle Edge. So the talk of today will... Okay, uh, one second. Yeah, so the talk of today will consist of three main points. First of all, I will briefly recap for all of us here what is the DPIN promise. Then I will talk about the future behind the global idle resources. And then I will present how Titan Network leverages the global idle resources for the public good and for the ecosystem in the DPIN space. Okay. So why are we all here? I think it's very, very important to recap that the importance of digital resources such as storage compute and bandwidth will be paramount as digitalization continues to permeate all aspects of our life. There is no way we can imagine the future without somehow handling storage, somehow handling compute, someone, uh, somehow handling the bandwidth, and the role of it in our day-to-day -day life will grow increasingly. To do so, we have a huge deep in promise where all aspects of our life in one way or another are facilitated by the technology. And the DPN promise at its core was always to transfer the wealth and power back to the citizens and communities. With that DPN promise, there are many, many small applications that are being developed right now to really facilitate and bring this idea back to life. But it's still a long, long road to really achieve and succeed in bringing the technology back to the community. To do so, the DPN reality brings us a variety of different solutions that solve the problem in one way or another. And it's still kind of not there because, well, in order to facilitate or use the pin right now, it becomes very, very hard, or you need to install multiple solutions, multiple devices. You need to have an understanding of multiple blockchains. You need to have connection to a physical resource and to digital resource, and someone hopefully aggregates that for you and brings it all together. You need to figure out a wallet. You need to do so many, many simple things that I'm, as a regular user, am not aware of. And ultimately, I don't really care. Where it matters a lot is for us, for builders, or for someone who develops a technology for community. But the community itself aims for the quality of service and for the quality of life. And if that's not achieved, they're not willing to move to this variety of ecospace space and services that's available. So to really sum it up, this variety of great resources that is ecosystem building right now, Filecoin ecosystem being the uh, front runner of DPN ecosystem, this all comes down to two specific parts of DPN. First one are physical resource networks. They incentivize people to direct and deploy location-dependent hardware to offer real-world, non-fungible goods and services. You can think of those as mobility, energy, connectivity. All of those services are really here in the physical world, allow us to participate in the networks. On top of those, we have the second part of DP, which is digital resource networks. And those incentivize people to direct and deploy hardware to offer fungible digital resources. That's where I strongly believe, and we at Titan Network strongly believe, where the next move should be happening. Because if we haven't solved our problems with availability of storage, availability of bandwidth, and availability of compute to the day-to-day -day jobs that people can leverage immediately out of their phone, out of their pocket, we will not care about physical resource networks, and it will not bridge the gap between the user demand and the user supply of the resources that we already have. So what is the easiest way to bring DPN services closer to people? I personally believe that the closest you can really be to an individual in the 21st century is to be on his phone. There, research is happening, and uh, research now tells us that in the globe there are more mobile phones than people. We are overcoming with that number. I have just right now in my pocket two different phones. Most of you have multiple devices available for their work, for their day-to-day uh, -day life. 
On top of that, phones, you even have mobile devices, personal devices, tablets. So the world right now is really, really populated with devices that belongs to every individual and then can serve them to produce something good. On Global Edge resources, we only account for billions of devices that are available all across the network that are waiting to be utilized. There is so much more potential that uh, we have in the deep in space from utilizing something not just, hey, I'm a deep in projects, go buy a new server, deploy the server, and now you can utilize the resources out of it. I strongly believe, and we at Titan Network strongly believe that in order to really capture the deep in opportunity and bring this technology closer to people, to you and me, we really have to use the resources that are already available in the space. And by those resources, I again mean smartphones, tablets, PCs, and other devices that are surrounding us on a day-to-day basis. Moreover, the beauty of utilizing the resources that are already available, they are idle at least 33% of the time on average. And this is an estimation for phones, for something that you use day to day, you phone people, you uh, connect, you chat with your community. I hope that everyone here sleeps at at least eight hours a day. And those eight hours a day are the time when the phone is idle. So if we can aggregate the resources just from the mobile phones across the globe, we can leverage an insane amount of devices that are idle for at least eight hours a day and that are available to do something useful, something beneficial for you, beneficial for the companies around, do some useful compute storage or bandwidth work, and that at a scale of billions and billions of devices available globally can definitely change the world and bring the pin closer to people. So how to tap into the biggest available global idle resource and make sure that we are leveraging the potential of deep in technology at a scale that are needed for mass adoption? One way to do it is Titan Network. Titan Network approach is we are building a digital resource layer one network that creates incentive layer for global idle edge resources. We are orchestrating deep in cloud services and enabling you with one click of a button to commit your idle resources on mobile phone to the uh, ecosystem of Titan Network and then Titan Network will allocate those resources to create something good as compute, as storage, as network jobs and benefit you as the committing user and reward you for the resources committed. If that's, and with, and with that story, with that dream, we at Titan Network are running our public test nets right now. The first test net have accumulated more than 77,000 nodes online all across the globe that were willing to connect to deep in uh, Titan Network and contribute their resource. We have accumulated more than 86 petabytes of storage and I remind you that's primarily edge devices. We have accumulated more than uh, two, uh, two, 236 CPU cores and more than 68K of unique IP addresses all across the globe, from US to China to all around Europe. And anywhere in the world, there is someone who is willing to connect to the network and contribute resources to a public good and to leverage that technology for the masses. What that tells us is that at the same time, when we are able to leverage and commit so many resources to the network, we are also able to enable new unique use cases that were not, ab uh, that were not available to the DPN of today. With Titan Network, you are now able to provide with those unique coverage and unique availability of DPN edge nodes around the globe. You can provide DCDN and OpenCDN solutions that are as close to human being as possible. They're on his phone or maybe on his friend's phone or in his peer's phone, and they are nearby you serving the content that you are so much willing to uh, consume on your devices, on your applications, and that's running at a fast speed of a cloud service solutions. We are also providing with our Titan Network application on mobile phones and on computers, we provide a full security with VM plus container solutions. So if you install it on your device, you are still 100% secure. No one can punch you out. No one can really do something with your device, making sure that quality is on par with the cloud services, but at the same time, security is on par uh, with community demand and security level of the whole ecosystem. And what that really allows us to do on the scale of billions of devices and on a scale of applications as close to the human being as possible being on his phone. We are providing new approach for DPN to provide last mile storage and compute being right to the user's hands. With that, I want to highlight that 
we are building immensely and we also value a lot of teams that are building on top of Titan Network and leveraging our technology. One of the pioneers of our uh, ecosystem was a cutting edge solution for high speed reading and writing of massive volumes of high definition images within the centralized storage network. This is a team called E2 and what they really do, they leveraged all the technology and all the aggregated space that we had. Just give me a second here so that you can see it in full screen. So what they did, they were able to leverage the decentralized technology accumulated by Titan Network and provide you availability to view content at a very, very high definition. So this image that's being shown right now in the demo actually weights four gigabytes. If you open it on your personal device with Adobe Photoshop, it will take you multiple minutes just to load the picture. Here, it's available to you in real time. Not only it's available to you in real time, you can zoom in, you can see the quality, you can even edit on top of it and make sure that all of the device streams the content to you from a decentralized edge network that we are running and operating. And that being streamed to you, providing you as high quality of service as possible while making sure that your security is consistent and you have all the services that are on par or sometimes even better than cloud can offer. So that's our champion ecosystem providers. That's where we strongly believe that a future of the pin is coming. And if you're part of us, if you're willing to contribute to our ecosystem right now, uh, then we are more than happy to connect with you. We are more than happy to help you be part of Titan ecosystem. Please follow us on Linktree, find, uh, uh, find our application, go to our website. Installation of devices uh, and participation in a network takes two clicks from an average user to commit their resources to the Titan network. With commitment of the resources today, you also have a chance to participate in our airdrop and those who are installing and uh, going either to the back of the stage and downloading our application and registering today has also have an opportunity to take part in our airdrop. You'll receive a unique card here. You'll get the rewards from the Titan community and if you run the Titan node long enough, you'll be rewarded at a later stage as well for the bonus for being here today with us. With that being said, thank you a lot for your attention. I'm more than willing to answer all your questions later at a stage back on 101s. And let's just be part of Titan Network. Thank you a lot for your time. <laughs>